Good morning, noon or night, everybody, and welcome to another video on the Maybe Bray YouTube channel. This one, of course, is the first vlog of the year, Blackpool at home in the cup. We got absolutely embarrassed by Blackpool last year, but that was a way we've come so far since then. So hopefully that same thing doesn't happen and we can cruise through. I'm sat in the upper Brian Clough stand for like the first time since Swansea at home in the promotion season. And that's all 5-1 win. I'd be very, very happy with a 5-1 win today. Of course, as you would with, you would any day. Let's just see ourselves into the fourth round. No questions asked. Please, Forrest, just, just for us. Hope you enjoy the vlog. See you there. We've seen the lineup. Seems, seems pretty good, pretty solid. Obviously with the African players out for, for, out for AFCON and for their stuff, and they're already gone, that's all right. I like to see Toffolo back in the team, of course. Uh, I say it's overall, it's a solid lineup, but we've got to deal with Jordan Rose from Blackpool, which is, we're not very good at doing that. Dad, what do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I'm on the similar view, really. Um, I think we're giving the South American lads who go in the FA Cup because it'll be their first experience on particular players like Danilo and Murillo and uh, obviously Montiel. Um, I think Joe Worrell's in there because of the lads going away to, for the AFCON. I think you're right, but I think he's probably the best one to deal with Jordan Rowe because he's a header and a kicker. We need somebody just physical. I mean, it doesn't matter if he gets sent off for bringing him down somewhere, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the lineup. It looks like he's gone strong to try and get a run in the cup. Can't fault that. Mm. But I have to say, by the way, respect for Blackpool fans. Um, They've had a terrible time the last few years, an absolute wastrel of an owner. We all know what that feels like as Forest fans. We've had to suffer something like that and come out the other end. I hope that they can too, because it's only just over a decade since they were in the Premier League. So, you know, they've had the, the highs and the lows as well. But, so, respect to them for turning up. We can hear Welcome to the Jungle. The players are coming out. We're so late. We're so late. That is your Forest team. This is the world famous. chance. I don't think I've had any highlights to show you, to be honest. We're about 23 minutes in. It's been a very sort of nothing game. No, it was Jordan Gabriel. Number four, our academy product, Jordan Gabriel, who scored for them. Oh. 
half time. Well, that was quite an, an interesting first half. Um, we just didn't come out. We just didn't come out and play first half. We were way too casual. Blackpool, I, would, I can't really say they were good value for the goals, but they took their opportunities. We barely created any. We. It's very frustrating to see us come out so casual when we've been so high tempo in previous games. It's almost if we take us for granted that. That is not acceptable. I don't think either side has been particularly good, to be honest. They, they've been clinical. And I think they've had two shots on target. I think that, uh, that further sort of highlights the goalkeeper problem we've got. We really, really need to invest in the keeper in January. Because they're just, they're just not saving. We're expecting good things from the fans. We've not sold out the allocation, but they've been really, really loud, good ones for their goals. Anyway, on to the second half. The Forest team have been sent out five minutes early. Really not much of a talk from Nuno. I'd imagine they've received an absolute blasting and now they're back here to do the business. They're all out. As you say, the Blackpool team is not any of them not the coaching staff or anything uh, there. Ref's not out, nothing. Ref's not out, barely. That's, that's it. Come on, lads. I think we better get out the manager's way here. In my time supporting Forest, I've not seen anything like that, ever. So you know, he's not happy. And why would you be, to be fair, if it's not a good performance? He's coming off number 15, Harry Toffler, replaced by number 3, Nuno Tavares. Oh, instant stuff for Forest. Uh, Tavares on, Toffolo off. idea how Grimshaw's managed to keep that one in. Oh. Williams on Yates off. I'd imagine that's just to add someone with a bit of pace, try and get him behind him, I'd imagine. Going the middle, yeah. Ooh. That's a... Uh, I don't think the Nuno fancies a, a Wednesday night trip to Blackpool. Absolutely golden chance there. Calvin Hudson a draw so close. We're into the fourth minute of added time. They've got a gold kick, then that's probably gonna be the lot. That is disappointing. There's not too much to say about it. We just, we just, we, we weren't at it today. It was like absolute screamer. How many chances did we let go? Hudson Odoi missed that one through on goal. It's a 
Chris Wood missed that one for our goal. Fans, the fans, uh, well, the atmosphere, in terms of home atmosphere, it was a bit flat. The, the away fans, yeah, they're class. I think you could say that they were the better team, but they've, they've held up, they've been really, really solid and they've not allowed as many chances and they've, they, overall I think that they've deserved, they deserved to take us back to Bloomfield Road. It's annoying to have another spot on the fixture calendar, especially in the away one, but it is, it is what it is. Just, we, we just really, we really didn't need an extra fixture now. Bit of an outro. Uh, away fans, absolutely first class, terrific. Uh, you can hear them now. They've been going all game. Absolutely terrific. See you all in the next one, whether that's against Arsenal or in a different game. Who knows? We'll uh, see you all later. Lunch with just cheese. Like and subscribe, of course. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. And good night.